Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. I'm David. And I'm Melissa. And today we're going to make the ultimate guide for you dads out there who need to buy that Mother's Day gift to woo the mother in your life. YouTube tells us that our viewers are 90% male, so this is for you. Our goal is for you to be able to crush Mother's Day and have that mother in your life be so thrilled with what you got her. So I've brought in an expert on the topic, my wife, Melissa, and she's gone through and created her favorite things to be able to share with you as you think about doing gift giving for Mother's Day. I've just gone through our Amazon orders over the last year or two and I've picked out some of the, my favorite things that I've either purchased for myself or received as gifts as well as just some other things we happen to have around that I really enjoy that are still available to purchase. I know I love all the things on this list and I'm sure the moms in your life will enjoy them too. Make sure you stick with us to the end of this video because in just a few minutes, we're gonna have Melissa go through all of our product roundup reviews that we did in the past year and have her pick her favorites as to what she likes the best from all of the gear that we've reviewed in the last year. Okay, first things first, you will not find me without my Yeti Chug Bottle. I always have my Yeti Chug Bottle with water uh, just in case. I always have to be prepared. Cold drinks in this, hot drinks in this. If you are getting the mother in your life a mug this Mother's Day, please make sure that it fits in the cup holder of her car. Because the mother in your life, if she's anything like me, spends a lot of time in her car driving kids around from point A to point B and then to C and D and E. And she needs a hot beverage to keep her company in the drive. And I like this Yeti travel mug because it fits in my cup holder and it keeps my drinks warm. Speaking of warm drinks, <laughs> I am a huge tea drinker. I don't really like coffee a whole lot, but I love my tea and I've become a tea snob over the years, and so I'm um, a huge fan of loose leaf tea. I really like this London Fog, chocolate mint. For some reason, I like that one, especially in the afternoons. Um, Blood Orange, I really like that one, and Ginger Peach. So these are some recommendations of loose leaf teas if the mother in your life is a tea drinker. If she drinks loose leaf tea, she needs a tea steeper. This one's really cool. You put the tea leaves inside here, pour the hot water over it, close the lid and let it steep for a little bit, and then put it over top the cup and it releases the bottom and the tea all comes out through the little filter and you've got hot tea to drink. <clears throat> Moms spend a lot of time in the kitchen cutting and prepping vegetables and meats and whatnot. Uh, this chef's knife we've had probably for a year now. Um, we have a lot of knives in the kitchen that I can choose from. If I need a chef's knife, this is the one that I grab. This is the Shun Premier 8-inch chef's knife. So David and I have different opinions on um, pancake dispensers. I really like how this pancake dispenser, uh, you can squirt it out. It's fun, you can make designs or whatever if you want to, but I, I like the control that I have over this one. I usually uh, will spray it down with um, oil first to let the pancake batter dis uh, not stick to the inside as much um, so that it, I can get it all out. This one comes with a, um, shaker whisk inside. I never use this. I usually mix my pancake batter in another bowl um, first and then trans transfer it into this bottle. But if you like to use pancake mix and just real quick make a quick little batch, this would be really handy for you. I just find it really convenient. The, the bottom of it, you can stand it in there and then pour your batter in or pour your ingredients in and then shake it up to mix your batter and, and then squeeze your batter out under the griddle. I find this to be very convenient and um, kind of fun to use. Hey, if you're getting value from this video, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel to catch more videos just like this in the future.
if the lady in your life ever has need to create a fire, whether it's in a fire pit or a pizza oven or a grill, um, my preferred way to do that is with this Luft lighter too. It is electric. Um, David has his preferred ways of setting things on fire, um, which they're fun, but as a mom, I feel like this one is probably safer. I also appreciate that it is easier to store than um, some of the other methods that we have. Uh, I find this to be really easy to use and I have no hesitation lighting up the fire pit or the charcoal grill myself and um, no longer sit back and just wait for him to start the fire. I can do it myself. I can do it myself. If you're looking for something small and simple to add to like a gift basket or something, if she likes to read, a book light is a simple but practical gift. I know as I mature, my eyes like to have a little bit more light when I'm reading. And so even if I'm in a light room, I still like to have a light directly on the pages that I'm reading. I like this book light and I'm sure she would too. Whether she does her cooking outside or inside, most likely the mother in your life needs to at some point temp her food as she's cooking. And she needs to make sure that the meats that she's preparing are cooked thoroughly and not too much. And so we really like the Thermopen one from Thermoworks um, to take instant read temperatures. And the fun thing is these are available in a lot of different colors. So you can get a pretty pink or purple one for the mom in your life um, so that she knows that that one is just hers and she doesn't have to share it. If you get this gift for the mom in your life, please do not only get her this gift, but a fun little gift, again, that you could just throw in with a gift bag of other things um, is this corn cob stripper. If you have ever seen her taking a knife to cut the corn off of a corn cob, get her this. Um, this is so easy. You just push the co corn cob through the corn cob stripper and instantly all the kernels fall off. They're not all mushed up. Um, they come off in like entire kernels of corn and it's super easy. It's much easier than using a knife to cut corn off of the cob. And plus it's fun, you can have lots of laughs joking about how you got her a stripper for Mother's Day. Like the corn cob stripper, do not just get her this or she will probably slap you in the face. But something I bought for myself this year, which I've really been continually impressed with, is this forever sponge from Grill Rescue. This sponge is brand new, never used. This sponge has been used for probably three or four months now. Um, you can barely tell a difference. I use this one every single day on my kitchen, in my kitchen sink. It's actually wet at the moment because I just used it. Um, but use it, run it through the dishwasher. It does not, like we, we wash our sharp knives with this all the time. There, nothing is wearing this down. It will literally last forever. I bought a five pack uh, the first time I bought them so that we could have one out in the outdoor kitchen, one inside in the kitchen, one in the bathrooms and all the different places. I mean, maybe don't give it to her for Mother's Day or definitely give her other things too. Maybe just surprise her with it some random Tuesday. She could really use the Forever Sponge. It will save you money in the long run. Forever Sponge literally lasts forever. If the mom in your life could use a new apron. I've been a big fan of this apron from Solo Stove. I like, it's got lots of pockets. It got buckles in the back that are adjustable so it can fit you perfectly. It's just really secure and durable and wipes clean very easily. So I really like this apron. If the mother in your life likes to play games, card games specifically, has she ever played Dutch Blitz? Um, Dutch Blitz has been a family favorite of mine since I was a little girl. And I feel like it's maybe one of those games that not everybody's even heard of. So um, I recommend that game. It comes with four decks, so you can play it with up to four players, but you can also buy an expansion pack. 
Um, so then it can be really crazy. It's a Dutch game, so it is a wonderful good game. Lots of fun. If the mother in your life enjoys playing a good card game, this might be a fun new game that you could introduce her to. If the mom in your life likes to hang out outside, especially in the evenings, ambiance is really important to moms. And she likes to have um, a pretty, attractive, aesthetic setting. And I really like the solo stove torches. They are m a little bit more elegant than some of the other like torches that are available on the market. Um, and they just create a really nice atmosphere in the, in the backyard. They come in a three pack, they use regular torch fuel. They just create a nice warm inviting ambiance in the backyard, which I know I like to have with when I'm enjoying time in the backyard with friends or family. Oh, and if you do make a purchase from Solo Stove, whether it's for the torches or the apron or something else like a fire pit or a pizza oven or all the other things that they offer, um, we do have discount codes available. We have a couple different ones available depending on how much you're spending. We will be sure to put those codes with the links in the description below. When I make time to just chill out and relax in the backyard, I love to lay in this hammock that I received as a gift about a year ago. Um, it's super relaxing, very comfy, and um, I like how the, the hammock itself can get removed from the stand and brought inside to be protected from bird poop or leaves or just the sun or the rain, whatever um, it could be exposed to. I like that it's really easy to just take the hammock off, uh, but the frame is really st sturdy and durable and, and it's also pretty easy to move around as well. Okay, these Tiva sandals are the best. Um, I wear these 95% of the summer days. I wear them everywhere. I wear them around home. I wear them to amusement parks. I wear them to the beach. I wear them to the water park. I wear them everywhere. And they are so comfortable. My feet are kind of sissies and don't tolerate uncomfortable shoes very well. These are unbelievably comfortable and they're very cute, I think. So I'm sure the mom in your life would enjoy them as well. If mom has kids that are in youth sports outside, particularly baseball or soccer or football or softball, any of those outdoor sports where um, you're sitting near a ball field for hours upon end every weekend um, and throughout the week, get her a comfortable chair to sit in. I really like my GCI outdoor uh, rocking chair. It's really comfortable and it just makes those long days at the ball field easier. Since most of these gifts didn't have outdoor cooking as the main theme, I want to go ahead and go through some of the head-to-head -head comparison videos that we did over the last year here at the Barbecue Lab and let you hear from Melissa as to what she really likes when it comes to outdoor cooking gear. So let's just go ahead and rapid fire through some of the categories and let her tell you which one she thought was the best in each category. Okay, pizza oven. All right, so for pizza oven, I would pick the Solo Stove Pie Prime. It is affordable. It is compact, it's not too heavy, so I feel like I could carry it and move it around if need be. Super user friendly. I like that the dial is on the front and so, um, so it's easy to control the, the fire from the front and I don't have to walk around. I just find it really user friendly and affordable. Okay, vacuum sealer. So for vacuum sealer, my favorite right now is the JVR Vac 100, which is a chamber vacuum sealer. I have lots of fun vacuum sealing. I find it to be highly entertaining to watch the bags um, vacuum seal. It's ridiculous, but I enjoy it. And if you actually want, you can save $100 on a JVR VAC 100. I'll put the code here on the screen as well as down in the description below, but that's one that we can help save you some money on. Okay, pellet grill. My favorite pellet grill of the ones that we have tested would have to be the Gorilla Grills Silverback. With the all-terrain cart, it makes it super easy to move around, which we do a lot around here. A lot of it is stainless steel, which 
makes for easy cleanup. And there's a pause feature. So if you're gonna open up the grill to baste something or to turn something or whatever, um, you can pause it so that it's, it doesn't continue to feed pellets while the grill is open. So that's pretty convenient. All right, how about a griddle? My favorite griddle of all the ones that we've tested would have to be the Traeger Flat Rock. Um, the side shelves on that griddle are just huge and I love that feature about it. I also really liked that it was very resistant to the wind with the griddle surface being kind of recessed down. Um, the burners were protected from wind exposure and so we didn't really have trouble with keeping, keeping the griddle hot while we were cooking. So I really liked the Traeger Flat Rock a lot. How about a gas grill? I think my favorite gas grill is the Gorilla Grills Primate. Um, I liked the size of that. Um, I'm only 5'2". I felt like the Gorilla Primate was really comfortable for my stature. Also, I really loved that the Gorilla Primate was both gas grill and full griddle. Um, it comes out of the box with a full set of grill grates and a full-size griddle surface. So I really like the space saving feature of that. You know, if you want to have a flat top griddle and a gas grill, um, you can have both, but only take up one spot on your patio. And um, that's really nice. So that, I've been really happy with that product. Um, I would say that that's my favorite gas grill of the ones that we've tested. All right, now we've been doing a lot of testing with charcoal grills lately. So what would be your pick for a charcoal grill? So the charcoal grill that I'm really enjoying lately is the RCS Premier Charcoal Grill, which is pretty expensive, but it is amazing. Um, we cook chicken wings in there, not nearly enough. I could eat them every single day. They are so, so good cooked in that charcoal grill. We cook other things as well. Um, David's going to cook me crab legs for dinner on Mother's Day using that grill. Also, it can be installed in a cart like we have it, or it can be installed directly into an outdoor kitchen. So if you're thinking about um, building an outdoor kitchen, I would highly recommend including that into your build. And we have a code for a special gift if you do decide to make that purchase. All right, how about a fire pit? If you're gonna get a fire pit for Mother's Day, what kind of fire pit would you want? Fire pit, I would probably, it's gonna depend on the size of your family um, or whether you entertain a whole lot, but I would probably go for a solo stove, smokeless fire pit. Um, if it's a smaller family, I would recommend the bonfire. If you have more than four people in your family, I would probably recommend sizing up to the Yukon. Um, if you have a really large family, I would recommend the Canyon. We do have a video we published just a few weeks ago um, kind of comparing those sizes, so you could check that out in the card up above um, if you're interested in that. But I would recommend a solo stove fire pit. All right, and how about an air fryer? We did the air fryer roundup at the end of last year. And we had how many? Seven? Seven air fryers to choose from. And the one that I didn't want to like is the one that I absolutely love. The Typher Dome is the air fryer that won the position on our counter in our kitchen. And we use it every day, multiple times a day. I love how easy it is to clean. It has a self-cleaning feature that will deep clean the heating elements. And it has a really wide capacity, so your food's not stacked on top of each other while it's cooked. It's able to spread out, and um, I just feel like it cooks better that way. So we, I really do like the Typer Dome, and it has an app and there's recipes. There's just a lot of features on that one that we didn't have in the other models, so I really like the Typer Dome. And we also have a discount code for the Typer Dome. You can find that in the description down below. All right, so those are some of the things that I enjoy, but the problem is I already have those things. So if you have any suggestions for David on what he can get me for Mother's Day this year, please drop those ideas in the comments below and um, help help a brother out over here.
I can use the ideas. She's incredibly hard to shop for because she's got all these things already. So we made this to help the women in your life really just love Mother's Day and help you win it as that dad or as that father or as that boyfriend, whatever it might be. So I really hope this is helpful for you, but help me out and let us know some ideas in the comments down below of what you think would be great or what we missed on this list that you've won with in the past. I'm David. And I'm Melissa. We're with the Barbecue Lab, and we say thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Our goal is to help you kill it on Mother's Day. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> if the mother in your life is super fun like me. Okay, that's probably good. But okay. I'm winning. <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got four left. Seriously? Yes, I've only got four left. I had all high cards. I'm telling you. Too bad we weren't able to finish this round. Oh, yeah.